That's a big one. Oh, yeah. That's the one I was looking for right there, man. That's the size you want right there. Look at those mean claws. That'll make good sheep's head bait right there. Ooh, that was a good bite. I felt like a ladyfish bite. We are targeting Pompano right now because can't seem to find sheep's head. We're probably gonna target sheep's head later. The Pompano spot's already on the way. Might as well check it out, see if the Pompano are still biting. We still have like a couple dozen crab uh, in, the, in the bucket, so gotta use them up today. Fish right here. Ooh, it might be a pompano, guys. What is this? Just got to the beach. It's been a while since I fished the beach. This feels like it's a big whiting or something. Oh no, it's a big pompano. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of that pump, guys. Oh my goodness. Good old. Pasta Grill Beach. Look at that. Stoked, man. Who would have thought? A big old pumpkin over here. No one's on the beach right now. Like literally, well, there's a couple that, uh, a couple of people started coming here, but first cast, can you believe that? We're gonna have to go get my cooler. That is insane, guys. I was not expecting to catch this big of a pompano on the beach this time of year. Usually in the springtime, they're on fire, but man, all year round, this year has been great for uh, pompano fishing. I mean, you, you guys saw a couple of my videos um, catching pompano off uh, the bridge. They're just plentiful this year. I don't know what's going on, man. Can't complain though. Let's unhook this guy and uh, put him in the box. Good deal. All right, first fish of the day. It's been a struggle trying to find sheep's head, but when you're by a spot that potentially holds pompano, I just can't help it but to throw some pompano jigs around. And I'm glad I did, because I mean, that fish was pretty solid. There it is. Good fish right there. Wow. Hit it on the slack. Might be a good pompano here. Hope we don't lose this one, man. Oh, no way he's going around. I have to land this fish, guys. He's going around. I gotta land this fish. That's a good fish too, man. I have to get up here. Oh my God. Another good fish right here. Can't believe it, second one. Usually I don't trespass, but I had to land this fish. All right, I'm gonna get back before, before I get in trouble. All right, had to go get the cooler with ice. Uh, two pompano so far, man. That last pompano I caught, um, was not expecting him to be the same size uh, that I caught the first time. Pretty big, took me around the, uh, the jetty. Had to go, had to trespass to be able to land him. But uh, we're back at it. Got a guy in his, uh, on his jet ski right now, jigging for Pompano. Yeah, we're gonna jig for Pompano again. And uh, if anything, we'll switch to uh, sheep's head fishing. With this cooler water temperature, these fish are definitely chewing. I know we're supposed to be fishing for uh, sheep's head, but man, Pompano are just more fun to target. Are you kidding me? On a drop? Wow! That's crazy, guys. On the drop. What kind of fish is this? Feels like a pop good pompano. Oh my goodness. That's a this guy hit it literally on the drop, dude. Are you kidding me? No way. That's a fatty. Another one. 
Jeez. That far one is real. Another stud. Holy smokes. Gotta land this guy. The far run. Far run is fat. Dude. Check that out. The Pompano bite are on fire right now, man. If you are trying to get on your very first Pompano, definitely come out here. This time of year, um, there's summer, summer run, spring, fall. They are chewing right now, man. Wow, that is a beast. Oh, a fish right there. We're gonna try to get on some more. I mean, this guy hit it on the drop. That usually does not happen. I mean, it hit it on the drop, guys. Unbelievable. All right, let's put it in the box. Three pompano so far. It hasn't even been an hour yet since I got here. Pompano is probably my top three favorite fish to eat. I mean, hands down, one of the best. If you guys have not had pompano, definitely try it out. You might like it. Some people don't like it, but it's definitely one of my top three uh, favorites. We're definitely gonna bring them to um, to a restaurant and have them cook them up for us. We're gonna try to get on some more here and then uh, we'll, we'll switch to sheepshead fishing in a little bit if the pompano bite starts to slow down. Good. Another solid one there, man. Come on. Please go left. Don't go towards the structure. Usually the pump up, don't go towards the structure. That's what I've noticed, but another fat one, man. Oh my God. They're so thick this time of year. Look at that. Dude. Our fourth one. That winter time or that fall run, man. Thick. These guys have been feeding throughout the year, and by the end of the year, uh, fall, winter, winter time, they get so fat, solid, man. I mean, I didn't even have to cast out far at all. We're probably just gonna limit out on these pompano. Let's see if we can limit out. One of my favorites to target and eat right here. Oh, he just spit the hook. Good deal. Let's put him in the box. We're gonna eat good tonight. He'll probably make it to lunch, perhaps. Take them to a restaurant, have them cook them up for us. Switching it up now, we're gonna see if we can get a, a sheep's head or two. Pompano bite, um, starting to slow down. We're gonna mess with the sheep's head for a little bit and then uh, switch back to pompano fishing. A dolphin came by here earlier and I saw a whole bunch of sheep's head got spooked. So there's a lot of them, a lot, a lot of big, big ones too. Let's see if we can get one to bite. Got a filler crab out there, free line. This is our original plan. Was to target sheep's head, but uh, we just happened to run into pompano. Can't complain though, man. I'll target pompano any day. Oh my God, good sheep right there. Oh, oh he's small. A big one spooked off earlier when I set the hook on him. Ooh. This guy's a little small, a little chilly. Little dude, let's put him back. That's so cool, man. <laughs> Sheep's head and pompano are chewing today. And we got plenty of bait. Let's use this big old uh, tree crab, mangrove tree crab right there. Pompano jig and uh, mangrove tree crab kind of weather right here. Gotta love saltwater fishing. Let's see if we can get a bigger sheep. There's one. Good one. Oh yeah, baby. Oh. Sheep said in pompano kind of day. Look at that. Good size sheep right there. Good eating right there. We'll let this guy go. We'll get we'll get try to get bigger ones. Let's put another crab on and uh, toss it down there. Man, there are so many of them, guys. I don't know if you guys can see them, but they're like they are stacked up on the sandbar right out there. Let's see. see if we can get another another good fight over here. Yeah, they're all over here, guys. Holy smokes. 
There's some big ones too there. Ah, I want to. This guy's a little further out. Dude, there are some giants there. Oh my gosh. Nice. I felt that bite. Nice. <laughs> that's a. That's a. Yeah, that's a good one. Dude, that's a good one right there. Stud. He smoked it. Got him right on the corner of the mouth. Oh yeah. For some reason, they don't want that mango crab. But man, as soon as I switch to the fiddler crab, they are fired up. There we go. Good stuff. Still in the box. I want to get that, that big one right there. What is that? That big one. That's a, that's a sheep head, dude. No, no, no. That, that huge fish right there. Where? He just swam out. Oh, there we go. That's a big one. Oh, yeah. That's the one I was looking for right there, man. I set the hook on him twice. That's a stud, dude. That's the one I was seeing. Oh, God. <laughs> wow. I gotta go get this. Crab. How far yeah. was that base shop? The base shop's on 4th Street. You can, you can have some of my crab, man. No, no, no. I'm about to switch up right here. But... That is a freaking sheep in your ass. <laughs> Bro, look at this. Look at this. All right, we're done sheep set fishing. That's it. That's all we need. What is that? No way, a baby black drum? Baby black drum hit the fiddler. It's crazy, man. These little guys grow up. They'll, they'll grow up to be like 30, 40 pounder. Insane. But look how small this guy is, though. One day this guy will grow up to be one of those beasts. Peace out. All right, guys, we're going to take these fish that we caught to uh, a filleting station somewhere. Cut them up and then take them to one of the local restaurants that cook up your catches for you. Let's go. I was not ready to catch fish today. It's hard to come prepared. I know, man. Sometimes you gotta use what you got, but appreciate it. Gentleman was nice enough to let me borrow his uh, filleting knife, so I'm gonna use this proper filleting knife right there. All right, this is the last of our sheep's head uh, filet right here. Pretty good looking filet. That's what it looks like when you bleed the fish. A lot cleaner uh, meat. Highly recommend you. Uh... <laughs> Sorry guys. Cam Randy over here. He's about I apologize. Take, he's about to take me out on, uh, on the next adventure here. Epic right? trip. Epic, Epic trip. trip. Coming up. Stay tuned. That's it for me. Hope you guys liked the video. If you guys did, hit that like button, hit that bell notification, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.